Greetings everyone, I am Lotus Prince, and for this game we are going to play Omicron, the Nomad Soul. This is available on the Dreamcast and PC, I am playing it via GOG, so I do not have a physical copy of this game, but this one looks weird and interesting. You may have heard of the developer uh, David Cage, uh, who works in Quantic Dreams. He's I think kind of famous for this game, but I think David Cage games started to become known as that around uh, Indigo Prophecy, also known as Fahrenheit, and Heavy Rain, and I guess people kind of talk about Beyond Two Souls a little bit. That's the Willem Dafoe Ellen Page game. And then there's Detroit Become Human, um, where it looks into do robots count as humans, if they're like humans, and all that interesting stuff. Interesting premises, but a lot of people decry David Cage games as sort of, I don't know if I'd go so far as to say walking simulators, but it's definitely, you must follow this particular narrative and then choose dialogue options, and sometimes the games go into weird territory, like the second half of Indigo Prophecy is just bizarre. But then there's this one that's a little bit lesser known, Omicron the Nomad Soul, and... This one, I don't know how many people got on it back on the day because it was on the Dreamcast. That was not the most popular system, even back then. Of course, again, it's on PC now, but at least Indigo Prophecy was on PS2, which was way more accessible at the time. But Omicron, I think people just have vaguely heard of. The only thing I knew about the game, well, I knew two things. One, that David Cage made it, but two that David Bowie contributed a lot of, maybe even all of, the soundtrack. And that'll become very apparent really soon. You'll, you'll hear David Bowie. So if you ever wanted the, the secret David Bowie album, this is the one. It was in a video game the whole time. Now, what is the basic premise of the game? We play as a cop in this weird cyberpunk dystopia where... I, I know whenever you see a cyberpunk universe, it's going to be something like... Oh, we have corporate oppression, and I'm playing as Adam Jensen in Deus Ex, and I can get cool augmentations because I work for the government, but I feel bad for other people. Or then there's the game called Cyberpunk, Cyberpunk 2077, where it looks like you're part of a resistance group, and you're killing people, and doing underground deals to get augs, but to be a general citizen in these universes, it just sounds like it sucks to be just a random person. And Omicron's universe looks and sounds pretty terrible. Thank God we're playing as a cop. Although the thing about that, as you will soon see, is we're not quite playing as a cop. We're controlling a cop. It sounds like the same thing, but it's really not, and you'll find out almost immediately when the game starts. We'll get into that shortly enough. So without further ado, let us take a look at Omicron. The Nomad Soul. Let's go crazy. Eidos Interactive. Or is it Eidos? Oh yeah. Quantic Dream. They've been around. Quantic Dream. 
This looks pretty rad. Meanwhile, on Hoth... And now it's perfect dark. That was quite a lot. Really easy to read. I love it. Alright, so up, down, left, right. So we're playing with Doom controls. Uh, I've already modified these. I'm just trying to remind myself of what they are. Action is enter, cancel is space. That's gonna feel weird. I'll I'll hold on to that, but I might want to change that to backspace or something. First person view. Let's make it F. Run. Okay. Let's go. This music's freaking rad. I have many things to tell you, and very little time. My, my name is Kale. I come from a universe parallel to yours. My world needs your help. You're the only one who can save us. I succeeded in opening a breach between my world and yours. Through your computer, you can enter our world and help us. But in order to do this, you must transfer your soul into my body. Do you accept? Press any key to say yes. But hurry, there isn't much time. This is wild. I get to scroll the text. I didn't expect that. Anyway, I'll press any key other than the arrows to say yes. I accept. I do. I can count on you. Now, you must concentrate. Do I have to press anything? You've done it. Now your soul occupies my body. This is the last time that we'll be able to speak together. Once you cross the breach, you'll be on your own. I will take over my body when you leave the game <laughs> and hold your place for you until you return. That's so on the nose. So literally, I, the player, am controlling his body. And when I leave the game, he's his own self, but I can't see him, because I'm not playing the game. Okay, I understand. That's it. You're ready. But remember, once you cross the breach, you're on your own. There's no saving and going back if you get into trouble. You are entering a real world. If you make mistakes, you'll just have to accept the consequences. Now, listen carefully. To begin your investigation, go first to my apartment. There's no more time to talk. You must cross the breach before it closes. Oh, and one more thing. Be careful with my body. It's the only one I've got. I think this game has save points, though. Thank you for running into the breach for me. Now, 
I will do the playing. Wait, really? That was not my fault. walks away I'm like unconscious thank you very much ED209 what the hell was that the robot must have scared it off so I'm playing classic doom controls but in the third person that feels pretty weird and can I not change the volume settings while in game okay hey I thought left shift was supposed to help me run because the alt thing lets me strafe. Maybe I just can't run right now. Okay, so where am I? This passage looks like the only way out. I didn't press anything, by the way. That message just eventually went away. Can I not... By pressing action, I will pick up an object. Once it's in my hand, I can press action again to keep it. Or cancel to put it down. I got a computer terminal, grab that on my forearm. I can access my inventory, press the sneak button. My key... My MK400 notice. Congratulations, you've just acquired the latest Kansu Design Sneak, the fabulous MK400. Thanks to the latest molecular disassembly technology, the MK400 enables you to transport up to 18 different objects. For more than 18, you can use your virtual locker on the multiplan to swap objects between your locker and your sneak. Thanks to its exclusive memorizing system, your sneak will memorize any information that you will receive. Attention! For reasons of security, objects using waiver technology, weapons and ammunitions for example, cannot be transferred from one sneak to another. Kansu, tomorrow's technology today. That font is hard to read. Spacebar backs out. I'm gonna have to change that. I don't like it. I should change it to backspace. And then there's my apartment key. That's kind of cool. Rings. I think I use those to save? Open map. Oh, I pressed spacebar. I might have been thinking. I can't open my map anyway. Fair enough. Okay, let's go. Oh, th these are rings, I guess? Three magic rings. They're just magic. Alright. Did that just autosave? I saw little words in the lower right of the screen. I don't know what that was. It was loading or saving or what. Okay, I can jump. Look at this. I gotta see. What is this? Mem memory? Inventory call slider. I got calls. Identity. I've got Omicron police training and using waiver weapons and combat techniques. Interests void. I guess I can't check my stuff. Options. Is this how I use my options? Or I can't? Oh, like this. Yeah, let's change. Oh, I can change stuff in the middle of the game. That's great. Uh, controls for sure. I gotta change these. Uh, cancel is backspace for sure. First person, run left shift, but I don't appear to be able to do anything with that. And open sneak, I'll say T. Let's do that.
and then memory. Go to my apartment. So that's what that was. All right. Backspace. Very good. T. Backspace. F. Okay, I can look, but I don't appear to be able to move in this. Unless... Maybe not. But it's cool that I can do that. I still can't appear to run, though, which kind of throws me. You know, one more time, just to futz with stuff. This is going to bother me, I swear to God. Controls, controls, adventure control. What if I do just do the... Right shift? What if I do that? I don't know if I'm not allowed to run right now or what. Yeah, there it is. And left shift also... Okay, we're cool. Oh. This is freaking rocking. As annoying as that font is, this music is insane. <laughs> Quantic Dream. David Cage, baby. And this is David Bowie, right? I know this is the David Bowie game. The Nomad Soul. This is gorgeous. <laughs> Look at this! This music's unbelievable! Original songs and soundtrack, David Bowie, Reeves Gabros. This is amazing! They went all out for this one. Ah, oh, this, this guitar is unbelievable. <laughs> Graphic team, damn. It is so easy to lose yourself in this. <laughs> Ambient sound, sounds effect. I look forward to this. And we've just gone silent. I know there was a fade out, but... Okay. This city seems to be immense. How am I supposed to find Kale's apartment? A vehicle might be useful. The sneak turn on my farm is a call slider button. Maybe I should try that. Yeah, I, d I did see that. Now let's give this a shot. Uh... Call slider. Okay. So, my apartment. A bing! We're just there. We're just in a car now. Or maybe not. That was the car being summoned to me? Now do I get in? This is freaking sweet. And blink! We're, we're, we're here now. That's freaking wild. This is so nondescript. Like, good thing the car took me right here. Oh yeah, and we're doing tank controls, by the way. Up. Down. So, I gotta get used to that a little bit. I don't know if we have proper camera control. Kale must have left me some way to get into his apartment. In my sneak, I could select an object and use the use function. Um, okay. So... Oh, it, it just... Okay. Apartment key. 
use on just use right use on would probably be some other thing in my inventory I assume and we're in hmm nice place kale has here yeah a little future techie I guess With the action button, I could do different things, like open a cupboard or activate a lever. There's a pile of white triangular objects in the drawer. Written on them is Central Bank of Omicron, 100 Setex. Must be money. 500 of them, because there's five triangles. I'm just awkwardly and goofily holding these triangles. ka -ching. The drawer just shuts by itself, that's kind of nice. You gotta be aiming just right to do this stuff. Ring note. I, okay, I guess I'll just examine that because I don't know what that is. Oh god, this, this font is gonna be the death of me, I swear to god. The rings of the art appear on the pilgrim's path. Only pure spirits can see them. They have two powers. The first is to freeze time. Oh, really? The second is to guide the seeker for... Right? Light? He who wishes to survive must use them judiciously, for their number is limited. Th their save points. Thank you. Oh yeah, I gotta remember that I can jump. I appreciate the camera just helping me out there. Whoa, what? Kale. I thought I saw someone just in front of me. She looks so real. I feel as if I should know her. What is this? A transcan terminal. The switch is on the other side. I don't know if I want that. like this. The switch is still on the other side. Like in here? This morning, the Yeshu priest Torik Graham asked the legatee to excommunicate by death 253 traitors guilty of crimes against the Church of the Green Book. The legatee, in his infinite wisdom, has confirmed their definitive eradication. Oh yeah? Next channel. This is TV. If you suspect someone you know of having non-conformist ideas, tell a thought control agent. He will know what to do. That's terrifying. We remind you that if you suspect any person in your surroundings of having non-conformist ideas, it is your duty to denounce them to the thought controllers. Don't make yourself an accomplice to these agitators. This is a creepy world we live in. I'm out. That's freaking disturbing. Moving on. Ah, thank God for run. By pressing the head button, I can look all around. Is that the first person button? Aww. Hey. Looks like there's a feeding hatch here. Yeah, I think I'm out of luck about that, though. This tank looks like it houses some kind of pet. There's something shiny hanging inside, but it's out of reach. Oh, okay. I don't know if it matters which way I go. No, this is probably where I want to be. This is where I'm actually going to want to check something. Forward and backward are right and left, so it's like Streets of Rage or something, like a beat em up. Strafe left, though, that's a little weird. Delete and end? 
I guess they're right above the, the arrows, and jump is up and crouch is down, so I guess it's 2D, and the punch is QW, and the kick is AS, like for left and right. That's awkward. But I'll... see what there is to do. Get me a little nervous here. I don't understand. Oh, I select the numpad like this. Uh, one. That'll be fine. Thank you. Get ready. The Get ready. About to start. This is weird. Oh, come on. That's. Oh, wow. We're doing like, like. Geez. All right. This is weird. This music's freaking red. I can see this getting very hard. Do I like get anything for beating these? Thank you. Thank you. Oh, he just runs in there. Is there a way to block? I'm gonna get my ass kicked. I'm gonna get destroyed. How do I do this stuff? How do I do these combos? God damn, I got wrecked. Like, are you serious? Thank you. Choose your dick ready. The fight is about to start. How the hell? Yo, Shenmu, eat your heart out. We got Omicron, Nomad Soul. I gotta look up how to block, apparently. Is there even a block button? Or is it just holding back? Yeah, back is block. <laughs> God damn. Are there like special moves in this game or what? What if I press both punches? Uh, I guess nothing. I have not reached the fighting level disciple, I guess. But like... This is crazy hard, and there's a third level? This is freaking wild. Yeah, that was... was that a grab? Yeah, I don't know if I can jump kick, but I can jump punch. I could do like a... Are you freaking kidding me? How the hell do you want me to play this game? This is insane. How good do you have to get? I gotta check. I gotta check the controls just again because it cannot possibly be this absurd. Like this guy's doing like Killer Instinct uppercuts on my ass. How does this guy know how to block everything? Like, is this real life? How do you want me to do this? Like, that's it. I'm freaking dead. Uh, controls, I guess. Fight. Jump, crouch, punch, kick. That's it. This is insane. Hello, Agent Cal. Choose your difficulty. Thank you. Thank you. The fight is about to start.
Like, this is seriously all the controls are, and they're, like, impossible. I can't beat a guy past easy mode. I could, I could do a run slide tackle, I like that. I gotta do that jump ground pound thing, Virtua Fighter style, I guess. Ugh, this camera. Oh, I threw him. Okay, I guess I won. I'm master of the inner voice, whatever the hell that means. I gotta see what level 3 is like. Oh, oops, I did not want to do this. I did not mean to do that. Oh, I hope the game didn't crash on me. I think it might have. Alright, I caught myself back up. I'm gonna hazard a level 3 fight. I actually beat the first two fighters. But didn't much level up my ability, which is unfortunate. And now I'm just gonna get wrecked, I guess. Like, I don't know what I'm supposed to do about this. But I'm a disciple now, I guess. Hello, Agent Cam. Thank you. Hello, Agent. Computer. Damn, okay, I guess I could do combos if I button mash. <laughs> Look at that. This is seriously not easy though. I'm really just kind of hoping for the best. But I could do that uppercut. Oh no, I was close though. Hello, Agent Cam. Thank you. Your difficulty to get ready. I'm gonna try not to button mash so much in case I crash the freaking game. Look at that sweet kick, even though he uppercut me. I want to do the grab. The grab's so cool. Alright, I beat level 3. I'll try doing one more fight in case I can get that inner master or whatever it said. My god, no mercy. Like, there's no hope for this guy. How did I beat him the other time? <laughs> Have I even landed a shot on this guy? Whatever, I'm a master of the inner voice. I'm a badass. Anyway, let's get out of here. Uh, new room, I think. Okay, a couple of weird things here. Med kit, yes please. Police badge. Now let's get a load of both of these things. Med kit. It's a pyramid. Police badge. The name of KL669 on the back it says Property of Security HQ, 7890 Legacy Boulevard. That stuff. Whatever that says. Uh, what? There's no reason to do that. It's very adventure game, isn't it? Nothing interesting. Can I not open that thing? Well, I guess there's this trunk. A sleeping pill prescription. Again, I'll take a look. 
Recommendation. Well, indications for insomnia and troubled sleep. Recommendations. Gives restful sleep just a few seconds after ingestion. Wow. Nothing's that strong. Solution to be diluted in liquid. To obtain this medication, just present this prescription at any Kansu pharmacy. That font is impossible, though. Okay. That's where I came from. A chemical shower. I can think of better things to do than wash myself. Let's just pretend that that worked exactly as intended, considering we're wearing clothes. I guess I'm... I could still think of better things to do than wash myself. Gross. Anyway, moving into... Bleh. This place. Yeah, we're back where we started. But... Aha. There's this side room I never checked. Hey, what the... Three rings. Three interlaced rings floating in the air. That would be a save point. Does it cost me all three rings to use, though? I hope not. I get the impression that I'm the only one who could see them. I just... I just can tell. They might be useful to me. Save. Can I call something? Did, did that work? Did that... You know what? Let's check my inventory. Rings in your possession, too. So I think I did use it. That was a little clunky, though. But alright, now that I've saved in the comfort of Kale's kitchen, it is time to stop the installment. Well, we certainly made a lot of progress today. We have found out that I, the player, exist in a dimension different from the one that this guy lives in, and I am personally controlling him. The fact that I am playing a video game is real life, I guess, even though it's probably not a game to the character I'm playing, but whatever, it's fine. And after an incredibly badass opening movie, we start the actual game and immediately get our ass kicked. Yep. But at least we got to hear a rad David Bowie track. That was freaking great. And now we've gone home. And we've learned that the world we live in sucks. Let's see what the actual plot's gonna end up being. Until next time, everyone.